What do you know about diabetes? This may seem simple, but the answer is far from it. Diabetes is a medical condition that affects how the body uses blood sugar or glucose, which is a vital source of energy for our cells. It's like having a car with petrol, but no key to start the engine. The fuel is there, but it can't be used. This is essentially what happens in diabetes. Sugar builds up in your blood instead of being used as energy. Now, why should you care about diabetes? It's because it's not a rare condition hiding in the shadows? No, diabetes is a widespread disease, affecting millions of people globally. It doesn't discriminate based on age, gender or race. Everyone from your next door neighbor to an Olympic athlete could be living with diabetes. Now, having sparked your curiosity, we delve into the types of diabetes. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share our video. Stay tuned for more informative content coming your way. Did you know that there are several types of diabetes? Indeed, there are three main types we'll be unpacking today. Type 1, Type 2 and gestational diabetes. Firstly, there's Type 1 diabetes. This type is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system wages war on the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. It's often diagnosed in children and young adults, however it can occur at any age. Unfortunately, the causes are not entirely clear, but it's thought that genetic predisposition and certain environmental factors may play a part. Next up is type 2 diabetes, the most common form of the condition. In type 2, your body either resists the effects of insulin or doesn't produce enough to maintain normal glucose levels. It's often linked to lifestyle factors like obesity and physical inactivity, but genetics can also be a risk factor. It's most commonly diagnosed in adults, but with rising obesity rates, it's increasingly seen in younger people too. Lastly, we have gestational diabetes, which occurs during pregnancy. During this time, the body becomes less sensitive to insulin, leading to higher blood glucose levels. It's usually diagnosed in the second or third trimester and often disappears after the baby is born. However, it does increase the mother's risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Knowing the types of diabetes is a step closer to understanding this condition. Now, how do we know if someone has diabetes? So, how can you tell if you or someone else might have diabetes? Well, one of the first signs could be frequent urination. You might find yourself needing to go to the loo more often than usual, especially during the night. This happens because your body is trying to get rid of the excess sugar in the bloodstream through urine. Next, you may notice an unquenchable thirst. Despite drinking plenty of fluids, you might still feel parched. This is a result of your body losing extra fluid through urination, which makes you feel dehydrated and constantly thirsty. Another symptom could be unexplained weight loss. Despite eating normally or even more than usual, you might see a drop in your weight. This happens because your body can't use glucose for energy due to the lack of insulin, so it starts burning fat and muscle for energy instead. And then there's fatigue. You might feel tired and lethargic, even after a good night's sleep. This is because your body can't convert the glucose in your blood into energy. Remember, these symptoms can vary from person to person and not everyone with diabetes will experience them. It's also worth noting that these symptoms can be subtle and develop gradually. So, they might go unnoticed or be mistaken for something else. Therefore, if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's essential to seek medical advice. If you notice these symptoms, a doctor visit is crucial. But what happens next? Is diabetes a life sentence? No, it's not. Let's delve into the various treatment options available for diabetes. It's crucial to remember that while diabetes is a lifelong condition, it doesn't mean it can't be managed effectively. Firstly, lifestyle changes are a cornerstone of diabetes treatment. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight are all key components. A dietitian can assist with creating a meal plan that fits your health goals, food preferences and lifestyle. Moreover, engaging in physical activity most days of the week can help control blood sugar levels. Now let's talk about medication. For type 1 diabetes, insulin is a must. Since the body doesn't produce insulin, it has to be taken externally. It could be administered through injections or insulin pumps. The type and dosage of insulin will vary from person to person, 
depending on their daily routine and general health. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, the first line of treatment is often lifestyle changes. However, if blood sugar levels remain high, oral medications or insulin might become necessary. These medications work in several ways. Some boost the amount of insulin your body produces, others slow down the production and release of glucose from the liver, and some block the action of stomach enzymes that break down carbohydrates. Another treatment option is bariatric surgery, but it's generally considered when other methods have failed and if the patient has severe obesity. This surgery can lead to significant weight loss, which in turn can reverse type 2 diabetes. Remember, diabetes treatment is personalized. What works for one person might not work for another. It's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to find a treatment plan that fits your needs. Regular checkups are important to monitor the effectiveness of the treatment and make necessary adjustments. In conclusion, diabetes is a chronic condition, but it doesn't have to dictate your life. With the right treatment and lifestyle changes, it's entirely possible to lead a healthy and fulfilling life. With the right treatment and care, living with diabetes is manageable. We've learned quite a bit about diabetes today, haven't we? Indeed, we delved into the complexities of this prevalent health condition that affects millions worldwide. We've discovered that diabetes is a metabolic disorder where the body's ability to produce or respond to insulin is impaired, leading to abnormal metabolism of carbohydrates and elevated levels of glucose in the blood. We've navigated through the various types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes, each with their unique characteristics and triggering factors. We've also highlighted the common symptoms to watch out for like increased thirst, frequent urination, and unexplained weight loss, among others. Our journey didn't stop there. We explored the various treatment options available, from lifestyle changes to medication and insulin therapy. We've emphasized the importance of seeking medical advice if symptoms persist. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding diabetes is the first step towards managing it effectively.